are back with another review. It's been a while. I'm glad to be back. And this review, I am doing the April uh, LCA release from Pravada, uh, the Vince. So that's what I got here for you guys today. Uh, great cigar. I've tried one before. I'm going to tell you guys all about this one. Um, so starting out, uh, check out the footband here. It says Vince. Got the little nine ball on there, you can see. Uh, this cigar was created by Blackbird Cigars. Uh, it was in an adaptation of Tom Cruise's character in The Color of Money. He wore the t-shirt uh, that said Vince on it, so that's where they get this from. Um, but Pravada partnered with Blackbird on it. Uh, five different types of tobacco in here. So for the wrap here, we have a San Andreas Mexican wrap. Uh, we have a binder that's made from the Ecuadorian tobaccos. And then we have a three blend filler of a combination of Dominican and Nicaraguan tobacco. So you're looking at five different leaves here. That's supposed to create for a great flavor. Just from touching the outside, it's very oily. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but you got some good oil pockets on there. It's very smooth. Uh, it's supposed to taste great. So I'm gonna give it a cut and a light. Uh, before I do that, one cool feature about this is the foot here. So this is actually a pigtail. Um, so you get that when they take the wrap and they pull it a little bit over the foot of the cigar and literally create a pigtail with it. So that's cool. Uh, some people peel that off before they light it. I light it and let it burn off. Uh, but I'll show you guys what that looks like, but excited about this one, April's LCA. All right. So we just lit this baby up. Um, a couple first things to notice. Number one, I forgot to mention, this is a box press cigar. Um, some people like to punch the box press cigar. I like to guillotine chop them because you get a very uh, full draw with it. This is an extremely smooth draw. So if you were fortunate enough to have uh, last month's LCA, the trail mix, um, you'll remember that it was a very smooth draw. Blackbird did a great job with the construction on this. Um, it's nicely wrapped, but it's not too tight. You barely have to pull with this. You get a great smoke. You can see it smoking here. See the little pigtail there, it's still lit. That'll fall right off. But uh, one of the things I noticed right away with this cigar that you'll notice too if you have one is that on the ash, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera here, but on the ash you will see uh, these little white beads. They look like little, little, little beads, um, but they're white. And what that is, is that is oil pockets from the cigar. So I told you it was an oily wrapper. Those are little pieces of oil um, that are burning off. And that's what gives the cigar its flavor. So you only get that with high quality tobacco. I know Blackbird aged these a full year, so you'll only get a good oil content if it's an aged tobacco, if it's well wrapped, if it's well stored. And that's what makes this extremely flavorful uh, and gives it a full draw. Uh, the initial notes that you taste with this, uh, it's very nutty at the beginning, I think. You get almost a, like a leathery taste, but the aftertaste is very, very red peppery. It's, it's a little spicy, but the smoke itself is creamy. It's a creamy, full smoke, a nice draw here. Great burn through and through, check that out. So I'm gonna finish it up, see what we think, and I'll let you know as we get further into it. So that's what I was talking about with the oil pockets there. You can see the little white beads on the ash. You only get that from a good, good tobacco, a good oily, well-stored, well-aged tobacco. I'll tell you right now, they did not use anything cheap in this cigar. The construction is still just absolutely beautiful here. Blackbird did a hell of a job with this one. You can even see the little foot tails still hanging on there. Um, strong ash, solid. Um, it's just well built, very, very creamy smoke. I'll show you a draw here. But just burns absolutely beautifully here. Uh, tastes very creamy, almost buttery. And that's all from the wrap, I believe. You just, it's just a perfectly oily wrapper. The uh, double blend of Nicaraguan and Dominican tobacco on the inside makes for a strong, solid burn. Uh, and that Indonesian binder is what's really holding the thing together. This is a solid cigar. But again, not wrapped too tightly where you're gonna have to really pull for a draw. You can see this thing is almost hitting itself. Uh, this is just, you know, well constructed again. I think the LCAs get better and better every month. Really happy they did a box press with this. I think that's the way to go when you use that many tobaccos. And nice for a nice long smoke. I've been into it for about 20 minutes now and got plenty to go as you can see, but just wanted to hop back in to show you that quality tobacco. Look at that. 
beautiful. You want to talk about A-lists. You want to talk about Tom Cruise's. This is the Tom Cruise cigar. This is an A-list cigar. Last video, I said that the Trail Mix was my favorite LCA. Every month that seems to change. This one is now my favorite. I think it's a little bit tastier than last month's. It's a little bit oilier, oilier than last month. Uh, and it just tastes fantastic. So you can see I'm getting close to the end here. The uh, still original burn, construction still holding up, no unraveling, haven't done any relights, nothing like that. The ash hung on for like 40 minutes before a gust of wind came and knocked it off, but just well, well maintained. Still have those little oil beads on the ash there. The pepper taste kind of went away a little bit. Now it's getting a little more fruity. Kind of tastes a little bit of blueberry. You taste some vanilla and you still have that really creamy smoke. It burns nicely. Sometimes you have a cigar and you can kind of taste the hot ash. It tastes like, like a burning smoke. This doesn't get like that at all. It's very, very creamy and smooth. I want to talk about pairings quick. Uh, I'm smoking this in the morning right now, pairing it with a nice coffee. I like it because it's a creamy smoke and it tastes good. It has that fruity kind of nice smooth feeling that you can enjoy with the coffee. But at the same time, coffee. You hear that? The uh, the Boston Italian accent, coffee. Taste it with a pair, pair it with a coffee. But it also is uh, spicy enough where you could pair it with alcohol too. You could have this with a rum, with a whiskey, with a bourbon. It's it's got a little bit of kick to it that you could knock out with uh, with some alcohol but it's creamy enough that you can enjoy in the morning with a cup of coffee if you're on the golf course as well. Uh, but the burn's holding up, really nice cigar. I will jump back in with my final thoughts on it. Unfortunately, I am getting to the end of this one. Uh, it's got a very, very leathery finish. The fruitiness has gone away. It's more again, that spicy, spicy side, but it's very, very leathery towards the end here. Still stacking a great ash even at the end, which is incredible. And. I've set this thing down. This is still the original light. I lit this thing literally one time, put flame to it once, never had to relight, never unraveled. This was great. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. You need to find yourself an LCA shop. I get mine personally. I'm in Rhode Island from Breakwater Cigars in Middletown, Rhode Island. If you don't have an LCA shop, see where one is. You can DM Pravada, you can hit up Pravada and they'll tell you where to go. If you're getting, if you're in the United States and you're looking to get some shipped to you, you can hit up South Carolina. You believe this guy? If you uh, are looking to get some shipped to you in the United States, you can hit up South Carolina Cigars and ask for Eric. He'll send you some. I just bought some more, but don't fucking wait for this. Uh, go get some now. They last a limited amount of time. You're not gonna be able to find them forever, and I will buy all of them if you don't, but this was a great cigar. My first ever Blackbird cigar. I will be having more Blackbird cigars just based on the construction alone, just based on the quality of tobacco alone. Just all in all, a fantastic cigar. The LCA seem to be getting better and better, folks. So if you're not subscribed, subscribed. You, I believe these came out in the February box too. So if you're a monthly subscriber, you'll usually get them, but you need to go on and find some. This was a fantastic cigar through and through. Fruity notes, creamy notes, leathery notes. Uh, great to pair with anything. So I loved this one. I'm gonna have some more of this, but I'm gonna jump off for now. Thanks for watching. Throw me a follow, throw me a subscribe, throw me a like, uh, or fuck you.